Just a devastating montage of Joe Biden in the last week. Joe Biden in just the last week. Being unprepared, unintelligible, unable to read his prompters, incapable of actually speaking. This is one week of footage that was played on Sean Hannity's show last night of the President of the United States, the most powerful man in the world, the man in charge of the military, not even knowing what the military is, not even knowing who's in charge of the military. That outfit over there is what he called General Lloyd Austin, who is the Secretary of Defense of the Pentagon. That outfit over there. This is a guy who is in charge of the most powerful military, the most powerful country, the most powerful economy in the world, not knowing what statistics are, unless he has a note card in his pocket, not being able to pronounce names of members of Congress that he served with for a decade or more, and not being able to know who his own Secretary of Defense is. This is horrifying. Watch this montage, and I have a comment afterwards. Watching right now. No script, Joe struggles. Here are some of the worst moments from just the past seven days. Take a look. The vast majority of economists, left, right, and center, from Wall Street to the to the private, uh, private uh, 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 economic uh, uh, polling initiatives. I want to thank the, the, the uh, former general, I keep calling him general, but my, my, uh, the guy who runs that outfit over there. I would just... So as you see that, it's so easy for us conservatives to giggle and laugh and make fun of, 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 of wheelchair Joe Biden being like being wheeled around the White House and taken out. But really what's scary is what's truly happening behind the curtain, just one step away. Jack Persobic actually has some great behind the scenes reporting anon uh, from, from sources inside of the White House on this. There is a really brutal cabal of progressives, young, psychotic, conspiracy theory laden libs who are running Joe Biden in the White House. They have their own little cabal, they have control, and they are not letting go. Dog has a bone, okay? And it's not letting go of that bone. These people are bulldogs. They are using Joe Biden in order to enact a socialist America and a socialist country. This is reporting from Jack that is saying straight up the moderates in the administration are being run out of town. Now, it's anonymous reporting, right, from anonymous sources clearly, but this is, this is, this is what we're, the intel we're hearing from inside of the White House. When you watch Joe Biden, what you are seeing is a man who is mentally diminished, who has had a long, long career, is quite old, he's pushing 80, and you're seeing a man who just can't function anymore, the age that many people go to a nursing home or just retire and sit on the beach and play with their grandkids. They, This man ha has, because they want power, has the weight of the world thrust upon his shoulders and is not able to handle it. He's collapsing before our very eyes. You're seeing it and it's becoming a dangerous game. Why is this so scary? What wouldn't these people do for power? You're already seeing what they're doing to Joe Biden. What wouldn't they do for power? And now we have reporting from inside the White House that demonstrates exactly what we all knew was going on in the first place. Joe Biden is a Trojan horse puppet for these socialists and these radicals in order to usher in social their socialist utopia in America. Like, this is a serious crisis, and more important than ever, to support freedom-loving candidates who are going to fight this insanity. And, like, let's relieve Joe. Let's relieve Joe of uh, his, his the weight of his duty here in, uh, in an election in a few years. All right? See you guys.